So I am constantly scouring the internet for new products to try and test out and improve my home gym so that you can get some good equipment. And this one, the GEKU Resistance Bands Bar, um, one is one that caught my eye as it has these end attachments that are very similar to the X3 bar that is available today, but only for about $50. And since this is pretty much the cost of my old bar and you don't have to buy the triangle links for this, it was a big I must have product in order to do a review for you guys to see what I think and is it something that can replace the Instar bar in my collection. Now I personally bought this bar right off of Amazon.com and at the time it was listed for $45.99 and after Washington taxes came out to $49.99. And once it was shipped here, it came with just a few items that you have to put together in order to have the full bar. You can even have a shortened bar, but if you want the full length, here's what it looks like. First off, you will get a long bar that comes in at roughly 16 inches. From there, there's two different sidebars that you can attach as well that come in at about six inches each. I think they're just a little shorter, but we'll round it to about six. With that, you have two metal connectors that you twist lock onto the main handle. Um, so you basically can attach the two smaller pieces to the longer 16 inch handle. Um, and then from there, you have the two end pieces that have the hooks and are also connected by a twist lock device. So when I measured it all out, the bar comes out to a full length of 29 inches. Now on Amazon, it says it's like 43 inches. I don't know where that's coming from. I don't know if they repurposed their listing just to try and get some more eyeballs. But when I actually measured this one out, it's 29 inches in length. So that's great. And the handle itself is kind of a rubbery like material, except for the metal connectors that go on each piece. So when looking up some specifics of the bar, it appears that it can withstand about 800 pounds of resistance against the bar itself. For me, I actually have a hard time even bending this myself, and I used it with a couple exercises in testing, and it seems to hold up just fine. And with that, it also has um, the hooks on the end that can rotate a full 360 degrees, so you're not getting caught up when trying to do something like a bicep curl. It'll just automatically rotate through, so it's nice and comfortable when you are using it. And some last minute pieces, mine is basically an all black color. Um, again, it has those two metal connectors and then the hooks on the end. The hooks on the end are great as you can just easily slip in any of your loop resistance bands to use in the workouts. And then when I add it to the rest of my setup, like the step platform, it works just as well as the Instar did before, but without having to buy those extra triangle uh, connectors. So with that, here are my pros and cons. Let's start off with the pros. One great thing about this bar is it does fit all of my resistance bands. Now in this video, I'm actually gonna show it off with these SunPal bands. Now I haven't used these in quite some time as I actually did sell my original ones when I did my initial move. And I've been using the Undersun for a while, which by the way, easily fit in this as well. But the SunPal ones are one I wanted to check because they are on the cheaper side and they've still held up pretty well for me, especially this new pair I'm trying out. Now, as of shooting this video, I am using the Speedience right now for a test I'm doing all until the beginning of 2024. So depending on when you're watching this, I may actually have moved over to the bands. Um, but just know that I will be doing the SunPal bands with this device and seeing if I can get a cheaper overall setup and get good results with it. And one thing about this bar is the length is actually, I think, better than the Instar bar. Now, my Instar bar is about 38 inches long, which isn't bad, but it might be a bit too long for some exercises, especially since I'm not doing anything over my back, as that's really awkward to get into with resistance bands. So for me, having it at 29 inches is, I think, pretty much the perfect length for someone my size. Now, I am 5 feet 11 inches tall. I'm with pretty broad shoulders, I'd say, overall. Um, but just know with this size, it really does feel like a good fit for me. The only time I ever feel like the bands might be a little short are things like overhead pressing, where I might have my hands a little further out and I can feel my elbows just kind of glide with the bands themselves. But it's a very, very minor con, if anything. And I've really, I think, liked using it at about that 29, 30 inch length bar versus a 38 inch bar, which can feel kind of long at some points. Now I did look up the price for this and it is, I would say, a pro, especially having the triangle links on the end so you don't have to buy any separate ones. I can't tell you how many comments I've got from my old videos asking what the triangle links I use are and what size I've been using. And they do actually sell out quite a bit because I think a lot of people are buying them for their setups as well. But again, with this one, you already have the end pieces. So no trying to fret, trying to figure out and buy one yourself. You can just uh, get this product and it already has them for you. They're very similar to what I've seen with the X3 bar online. Um, something I might test in the future, but just know it looks pretty much like the exact same thing. And I've, they're very easy to get in and out, no twisting off or on, like any kind of lock mechanism. They're just ready to go as soon as you put them into those triangle links. So with that, I'm gonna move over to my cons list of this bar. 
So one last pro I have for this bar is the positioning of the uh, screw in connectors. So why I like them is because it actually helps me figure out where I want to put my hands to standardize many of the exercises I do. For example, things like bicep curls, I really like to put about where my index finger is all, right around that connector piece. So I just put them there every single time to know I'm doing the exercise the same with each workout. Things like the uh, overhead tricep extensions, I like to actually have my pinky on that location to then push out and do the tricep extensions. And then lastly, another example would be something like a uh, bent over rows. I actually like to have my hands pretty close to the outside of the bar so I can really work the upper middle back. Um, so basically I can kind of look where is um, the connector piece and put my thumb around the location to just have a better grip on the bar overall when doing things like bent over rows. So those are my pros for the Giku Geku G-E-K-U bar. Let's move on to the cons for this device. So my first con is one that actually comes up with my Instar bar as well, and that's it's more of a rubberish material that's over most of the handle, and that makes it so when you get really sweaty, the bar can actually become kind of slippery. So it is something that I'm not a huge fan of, but still works just fine. And if I did ever have grip issues, I do have straps I could put on my wrists as well to hold onto the bar a bit better. My next minor kind of con is that with the triangle links and using bands that don't have a longer thickness, you might find that it kind of goes to one side of the triangle more than the other. Now again, not a huge concern as it can just be, the exercise can still be done just as normal, but I wish it would lay more flat in the middle if possible, but being a triangle link, that might happen with most of the items. I didn't really ever notice it with my old triangle links, which is kind of interesting, but I would expect it to happen there, especially with the smaller bands. It's just something I noticed when using this right away, that it was favoring one side or the other of the triangle, except for the very large band that lay perfectly flat and right in the middle. But outside of that, I have really no other cons for this bar. Other than that, you might not like how short it is. For me, again, I really like the 29 inches. I think it works well. I think with the like X3 bar coming in, I think it's 19 inches if I remember correctly for their original bar. I do think they made a longer bar, but their um, original bar 19 would be too short for me. I don't think I'd do very well with that. I feel like it'd be kind of constricting, but I think actually the 29 to 30 is a perfect um, length for me. And uh, being a bit shorter than the Instar bar, I think will be a good um, enhancement to my overall setup. But with that, that's pretty much this bar in a nutshell. Again, I will be using this in my test in January to see if I keep all the gains from my speedience when just using resistance bands later on. So I will have a future video with that as well. But so far in my initial just pre-testing of this, it has been awesome. I really, really love this. It feels again, very sturdy, very fun and easy to use. Comes with those triangle links, which is a huge thing. And then also being only $50, this is one of the cheaper bars I've seen on the market with this kind of quality right out of the box. So again, something I'm really, really excited to use as we get into January and see how it goes. Now, if you want to take a look at all the other pieces I use for my full home gym setup with resistance bands, feel free to check out the video on screen. And I should be swapping out probably the SunPal bands um, and the this bar with my old stuff to help enhance it in the future if all goes well.